This is the TT Racing Titus Smart Desk. Retailing from only 999 ringgit, it is meant to appeal to folks who want an affordable height adjustable desk. And for the most part, this table provides good value for money, though there are some caveats here and there. Nonetheless, this is our review of the TT Racing Titus. First up, let's talk about the specifications of this particular configuration of the Titus. This one is actually the large variant with a 1.6 meter long tabletop, which costs 1,149 ringgit. If you want to get a smaller version, which is the smallest one with a 1.2 meter tabletop, that costs 999 ringgit. Not to forget, there's also the 99 ringgit cable organizer at the bottom of this table. Regardless of which size of the Titus that you get, you still get the same features including a retractable cup holder, a retractable headphone hanger, as well as the fact that you can adjust the height from as short as 76cm up to 1.2m as you see it go down right now. Last but not least, there are also two different colours of the Titus. This is the Onyx black model and there's also a white version that is called Howl Light. Now, let's move on to what I like about the Titus, starting with the fact that the motor is actually reasonably fast when you want to change the height. It has a bit of a whiny sound to the motor, but I guess overall it's not too bad. Now, as the table is going down, you can see in real time just how fast it goes down. I do like the powder coated finish on this tabletop. It does pick up stains quite easily, but overall, I do like how it feels. And you know, with some water and a good cloth, you can wipe away the stains relatively easily. Besides that, I also like the contour cut on this side of the table for ergonomic reasons and the fact that this is a 1.6 meter large variant of the table, I have a lot of desk space to work with as well. In the future, if you ever decide that you want a larger or even a smaller tabletop, you can do just that. Just purchase the tabletop size that you want and you can still use the same desk frame because the width of the frame can actually be adjusted to accommodate different size tabletops. So that is a pretty cool feature. Moving on to what I don't like about the Titus, which is just one thing, the build quality of this table. After a few weeks of use, we find that the table would start either wobbling side to side or <laughs> just this kind of wobble on the tabletop which doesn't exactly inspire confidence. In order to get rid of this wobble, we would have to re-tighten the screws on either sides of the table including the underside. So I guess you can see the screws are not the tightest on the TT Racing Titus. So, small update. After we posted our video review, we were contacted by TT Racing saying that our table could be defective and true enough, once they replaced the desk frame, the wobble is a lot less now and to the point that it is very much acceptable for a table. While the build quality of the Titus is no longer a concern in our opinion, there is still one shortcoming with this table which is the whole build process. That is not to say this is a hard table to assemble on your own because it is certainly doable even with just one person. As the table has to be assembled by users themselves, they won't really know whether they've got a defective table or not until say a TT Racing party is there to oversee the whole assembly process. We say that because TT Racing does provide on-site assembly service but it comes at an extra cost so yeah. Anyway, back to the video. So overall, is the TT Racing Titus worth it? For only 999 ringgit, you can do a lot worse. After all, you are getting all of the benefits of a height adjustable table. Whether you want to be standing or sitting down, this table can do just that without fuss. And that is our review of the TT Racing Titus. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and always stay tuned for more good stuff to come here on this channel and nextdrift.com.